Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Mathblog here. This lesson is solving addition and subtraction equations. So we did that with models in the last lesson here. So here we're going to do this um, uh, with some uh, pre-algebra skills. So this is lesson 8.4 uh, in our textbook. And don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. And this is a sixth grade uh, lesson here. So there's our common core strand. And our question here is how do we solve addition and subtraction equations? Okay. So to solve an equation, we must get rid of the variable or get uh, the variable on one side of the equal sign. I typically like to get it on the left, but you can get it, uh, the variable on the right by itself if you wanted to. But we're going to get it uh, on the left by itself in this lesson, and that's most of the time what I do. But sometimes I, I get like the x on the right. That's okay. Uh, but we're going to do it on the left right now. So we solve equations uh, in the last lesson using our model. So we can also solve equations by using the properties of equality. And we're going to use the addition pr uh, property and the subtraction property. So here's the subtraction property. If we subtract the same number from both sides of the equal sign, then the, it remains the same. Remember, if you have an equal sign, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So if we, for example, subtracted 4 from both sides, okay, if we did that, we're going to get the same thing right there because 4 minus 4 is 0, so we have 3 plus uh, 0 over here, and then uh, 7 minus 4 is 3, so here we have 3 plus 0, which is just 3, so 3 equals 3, okay? So that's what we're going to do right here. So Ernesto is running 23 miles. So far he has ran 5 miles and the equation is d plus 5 equals 23 can be used to find the remaining distance d in miles that he must run. So solve the equation and explain what that solution means. Okay, so, so uh, we're going to solve this addition equation above. So to get, to get it by itself we must first undo that plus 5. And so operations to, that undo each other are called inverse operations. So we'll subtract 5 as the, um, uh, as the inverse operation of adding 5. So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to go ahead and write that equation. And then we're going to use the subtraction property. So let's subtract 5 from both sides. So we did uh, minus 5 on the left. So over here, we'll do minus 5 on the right to balance that out. Okay. All right. And then we'll go ahead and subtract. Okay. So here we have 5 minus 5 is 0. And then 23 minus 5. Uh, is 18 right there. So uh, let's see. So uh, the identity property, okay, remember anything when you add to zero is called the identity property of addition. You probably forgot that. Some, most of my students forget that. It's called the, uh, the identity property of addition. Anything plus zero just equals anything. So D goes right there, okay? All right, let's answer that question here. So, well, we're going to check the solution here. So um, uh, it's always a good, good idea to check your solution, you guys, especially if you have a little extra time. So what we're going to do is substitute in uh, our answer of 18 in for D. And so we'll go ahead and check that off. And then so the solution checks because 18 plus 5 does equal 23. So, so we are good. Okay. All right. So the, sol uh, the solution means that Ernesto must run uh, those 18 more miles. Remember, he ran 5, so he has to ran, run 18 more. Explain how we know what number to subtract from both sides of the equation. Well, we subtract the number that's being added to the variable, okay? All right, so when we solve an equation that involves subtraction, we use addition. That's the inverse operation uh, to get uh, the variable on one side of the equal sign by itself, okay? So we're going to get the x all by itself. So here's, here's an example of the addition property of equality. Just make sure that, uh, that we add the same numbers to both sides of the equal sign. If we do that, then it remains equal. So for example, here we have 7 minus 4 equals 3. So if we get rid of this minus 4 and do plus 4 plus plus 4. Now in an algebra class, I usually write the plus 4 underneath the minus 4. Maybe I'll do that in the next lesson there. So anyways, the minus 4 and plus 4 cancel each other out. They become 0 and we get 7 equals 7. Okay, so let's try one of those. Uh, while baking some cookies, Carla pours 5 eighths of a cup of milk from a carton. This leaves 7 eighths cup of milk left in the carton. So we're going to write and solve an equation to find how much milk was in the carton when Carla started cooking. Okay, so uh, let's see. So we're going to write an equation. So M is going to represent the amount of milk um, in the cups in the carton when Carla started cooking. Okay, so, so the amount uh, that Carla started and uh, the amount in the carton at the start we'll call M, okay, and we're going to subtract um, what Carla did. The Carla, how much did Carla pour? She pours 
right here, 5 eighths. So let's go ahead and put that in right there. Okay, and then that's going to equal um, the amount left. Okay, the amount left at the carton, which is that 7 eighths up there. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, solve that. So 5 eighths is subtracted from M. So to get rid of the minus 5 eighths, we're going to add 5 eighths to both sides to undo that subtraction. Okay, now again, uh, typically in my algebra class, I'll write plus 5 eighths underneath the minus 5 eighths. It's a little easier to see it canceling out, but your textbook for now is writing it horizontal, and that's the same thing, you guys. We're doing the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and add this, uh, the opposite of this minus 5 eighths. So that's going to be plus 5 eighths to both sides, okay? So then when we do that, the minus 5 eighths and plus 5 eighths cancel out. And so we're going to add 7 eighths plus 5 eighths. That's going to give us just add the numerators 12 eighths, okay? And then uh, we're going to write the fraction greater than 1 as a mixed number and simplify. All right, so 12 eighths, you guys, is the same as 8 eighths plus 4 eighths, and 8 eighths equals 1, and 4 eighths reduces to 1 half, so that's going to give us 1 and 1 half. Okay, so Carla, so there's going to be 1 and 1 half cups of milk in the carton when, before she started cooking right there. Okay, so explain how we can check the solution of the equation. Well, we can replace M in the equation with that 1 and a half and check that the two sides are equal. So here we had m minus 5 eighths equals 7 eighths, so we put in 1 and a half, our answer, and then we just check. And if you guys forget how to make a common denominator, go ahead and convert it to an improper fraction. Okay, and then um, uh, we want to uh, change this to eighths, so we'll multiply this by 1, but our 1 is going to be 4 over 4. So then we get 3 times 4 is 12, 2 times 4 is 8, and now we have a common denominator and 12 eighths minus 5 eighths is 7 eighths. It does check out. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care. I hope you're having a great year.